next question is from Honey Cell. Is low weight and high reps not as effective as high weight, low reps? Yeah. Um, okay. First off, it depends. And let's let's start off by saying this. If we're talking about repetition ranges that are within reason, it doesn't make a huge difference. When I say within reason, I mean like if you're going like below 20 reps, uh, you know, anything below 20 reps, we're okay. Once you start to get to like 30, 40, 50, 60 reps, the problem, and there are studies that show like 50 reps will build muscle too, so long mm -hmm. as the intensity is really high. But here's the problem. Stamina and stability start to get in the way. So if I'm doing squats for 50 reps, what will what'll fail first is not muscular strength, but rather my stamina and my endurance. And that might make it more challenging to build muscle as a result. Um, or, you know, your lung capacity starts to get in the way. Um, and, and also just the, just the, the, the overall amount of just work, you know, I'm, I'm doing a set for five minutes because I'm doing so many uh, repetitions, but if it's within reason, it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, especially if you, if you phase, like mm -hmm. if you phase and you're doing, well, that's the, that's the sweet sauce. That's it. That's the yeah. way to do it. You got to phase between, you got to do, uh, you know, a few weeks of higher repetitions in a few weeks of lower repetitions, and you'll get more sustained, yeah. more consistent gains that way. We'll both have value, and it's this kind of just falls back into a lot of what we always talk about in terms of like whatever you're not doing um, will provide your body a new stimulus that you're going to, you know, have muscle building effects uh, provided uh, to you with. So yeah. um, that's just the thing. It's uh, there's there's no like set rep range that's always going to be consistently building you muscle. You have to you know consider that uh, you got to go through periods of of new stimulus to you know kind of reignite that response. Well, to that point, the reverse is actually even true on this based off of what you've been doing uh, most frequently. So the question is set up as is low weight and high reps not as effective as high weight low reps. And the reverse could be true if all you ever do is high weight, low reps. Yep. If you always train low reps and high weight all the time and you never use lightweight, high reps, it'll actually be more effective to go lightweight, high reps. So the, 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 the variable that is most important here is what have you been doing the most consistent or what is the most novel to the body? So if whatever it is that you haven't been doing, move into that. So that's, we get this kind of question all the time. It's just worded in different ways, you know, yeah, and it's, totally. it's, uh, it's all the same answer, which is the, the answer is that there's tremendous value. Sal says it all the time from zero reps to about 25 and everything in between that all have tremendous value for building muscle, burning body fat, sculpting the body, whatever you want to say. And the one that is going to be the best for that is the one that you're not doing. Yeah. So that's what you need to evaluate is what what rep range do you neglect the most and move into that and you'll see the most value. And that is for building muscle, for burning body fat, for being stronger, all the above. Yeah. And now there's something that people often don't talk about, which are the mental benefits of training in these different uh, rep ranges and weights. It is a different mental state and feel to go do a set of four reps than it is to go and do a set of 14 reps. It's very different. Like higher reps, you're squeezing more, you're getting better pump, you know, you're, you're, you're stabilizing, you're, you're feeling the muscles more. Four reps, it's like you are, you are, you're firing your whole CNS, it's heavy, you're staying tight, you're driving, it's obviously a shorter set. It's a, they're totally different feels. And I think there's a lot of value in training all those different fields. It's a different mentality to go. And this is why I prefer phasing, you know, for three weeks at a time versus, you know, every other workout I change from high reps to low reps. Like I like to stay in a low rep phase because I like to stay in that mental state. And then I like to go in a high rep phase and stay in that mental state. Switching back and forth so often tends to throw me off a little bit in terms of, you know, what I'm going after and what I'm trying to feel uh, with the weight. So pay attention to that. It's, it's a totally different feel and it, it's a different mental, you know, different mental preparedness that you need before you go into the sets. And it's a different way you control the weight and a different way that you lift the weight when you go heavy versus light. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.